This is Sarah. And I recreate love stories through the art of henna. I was born in Karachi and I moved to Hong Kong when I was about seven years old and I've lived in Hong Kong since then. So I'm born in Karachi, I have Chinese nationality, I do not look Chinese at all. <laughs> and the first thing immigration officers ask me, they're like, Chinese? You're not Chinese. Were you always an artist from birth or did you get inspired or how did you start with art? So I think my mind works in nothing else but art. <laughs> all throughout my childhood, I love to draw, paint, all throughout school, I did art as a subject, and even in university, that was my degree. As far as henna art is concerned, um, I used to watch my mom. She used to apply henna for brides, and I used to just get inspired and started practicing. And I've been doing henna for, well, as long as I can remember now. What is your experience so far having a henna tattoo? It's amazing! It's my first time, and I cannot believe that this is in my hands right now. Like, I can. I've been following you guys for about five years now, so I'm doing a little portrait that I like the best of the two of you as well. Just a rough sketch so I can kind of get an idea of what I want to do on the hand. My first bride was when I was 10 years old. So I started my business, Sarah's Henna, in Hong Kong around 15 years ago. And it was the first business of its kind in Hong Kong. The Chinese people, the locals, had no idea what it actually was. And I explained it to them as a form of traditional temporary tattooing. I'm so glad that I don't have any reactions from henna. Is this natural? Oh yeah, uh, this is 100% natural organic henna that I make at home. So basically in Pakistan and in India as well, in the local markets you get chemical cones and they're really bad for your skin. So I started making organic henna. I roll these cones myself. Um, and I now supply this all over Pakistan. So what makes Sarah's henna stand out from all the other henna artists? So basically I started the love story henna concept about five, six years ago now. And all it is is that I just ask the bride or my client, you know, what their story is. So for example, for Diana, I wanted it to represent her time in Karachi. Hence why there's all these bespoke elements. Uh, we start with the camel ride, because I saw it on your Insta stories. So we've got it there with Drew and Diana with her hair flying. <laughs> I know you guys have been really inspired by truck art. Yes. And it's something very traditional, Pakistani. Mm -hmm. So these are the kind of things that make up my bridal henna. When I first started doing it, there was nobody else doing this concept. But now, of course, with social media, it's incredible, like brides all over the world ask for it and artists, there are some amazing artists who do the same thing now and they do it 100 times better than me, honestly. Okay, so my standard rate for bespoke designs, the Love Story Henna, is 1000 US. I fly worldwide for this and it covers both arms till the elbows and feet up to the knees. What are a few countries that you've flown to for work? Oh my god. Okay, I've been to Europe, uh, all over Asia, UK, Australia, Hong Kong, um, and now Pakistan. Sarah is one of the many hardworking women in the world who don't get enough credit for their entrepreneurial spirit. Not only is she a talented artist, but she's a fantastic person and a pleasure to spend the afternoon with in Karachi. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.